all right people welcome back to our next video all right guys so this is the leads and go og version but what i'm about to show you guys work for any windows device that you have running full screen experience mode so legion go 2 rogue ally any one of those devices so what i'm about to show you guys it enhance your experience using this these devices so it's give you a better experience using these devices making it easier to use and a lot more appealing to the eye right so first thing i want to show you guys if you come here it's basically like legion space if you're not trying to use this right here right some people don't like legion space this right here is a quick menu off rip and game bar that you can use to do everything that you need you can use it to control your tdp your overlay fps auto tdp you can also control your loss of scale as well from here and amd full motion frames too and everything if you come over to performance that you're not getting with quick menu legion space and if you go to graphics there's a lot more here as well so if you have the legion go 2 you can control the hdr from here as well so this right here is a great widget that i think you guys should have on your device so you could get a better experience using this, this device guys or any other device that you have running full screen experience so i'm going to get into it and show you what's going on but before that as well i want to show you one more thing so also i'm going to show you guys how to customize your artwork for each game that you have because if you look it looks more appealing to the eye with all the games everything is popping you don't see the gap between the artwork and the frame that they have so you can customize it to your liking choose any type of artwork that you want let's say i wanted to change assassin's creed come in here i know you have a, a lot of artworks in here that you could choose from guys so you just gotta choose what you want exit come over here and then come back and then it's just like that it changed and it looks a way a lot more appealing to the eye guys so let me get into it real quick and i'll show you guys what's going on all right so the first thing i need you guys to do once you come back to desktop mode just go to your browser you could type this in right here or you just go to the link in the description box down below click on it and it will bring you directly to their github page all right so if you scroll down it's going to give you some images showing you how it looks how it works and also the installation process right if you scroll all the way down should show you down here yep so you have different ways you can install it so let me go back up once you get back up here you will click on releases right here then you just download the latest one which is 9.3 and just download the package right here all right so now let's get into the installation process guys all right so after that you should see in your downloads folder and you're going to extract it but let's not get into that yet there's one more thing you got to do go to your task manager and we got to close out anything that's like game bar related xbox microsoft edge any type of game assist anything like that you got to close it out if you don't then it will cause the install to fail right so like this edge you want to end task and this xbox right here as well so you go down and you look so game bar you want to end game bar right so let's look and see if you see anything with microsoft game bar edge or anything like that guys scroll down and i think we should be good now all right so all the edge stuff are closed all the game bar stuff are closed i don't see anything that says game bar assist or anything like that so we should be good all right let's scroll up again just to make sure all right so we should be good guys so now go back to your folder and you want to right click and you want to extract then you want to open this all right so once this, you open this up you want to right click on the first one and you want to click install certificate you want to hit open then you press local machine hit next you say yes all certificate in the following store hit browse then now you're looking for trusted people which is right here then you hit ok then you hit next then you finish up then now you should be good guys all right so now once that's done you want to go into the dependencies folder then you want to go to x64 and then now we want to install all these files right here so one two three four five you want to start from the top click on this so now this is where it will fail if we don't go in task manager and close all and close all the stuff that i told you close like xbox edge and anything like assist related to to the game bar so once you come in here you just click on each one 
Hit install, let's see if it's gonna fail. All right, so see, it's filled, it's filled right here. So it's app installation failed with error message. And it will install because the following app need to be closed. So Microsoft Windows Store, right? So we gotta go back in there and close Microsoft Windows Store. So let's go back into Task Manager real quick. And we're looking for Microsoft Windows Store, which is this right here. So you wanna close this out and right let's head back um let's head back now i'm not sure if this will stop it but let's head back and see if it's going to work now so now let's head back in here again go to dependencies 64 start from the top install and there you go now it's good hit close do the next one install and we're good Hit close, install, and uh, right, so now we're good. Once it says reinstall, that means you're good, guys. If it's still saying install, that means it didn't go through. So close this out. Then this one right here, install, All right? It's good as well. Install, and yep, so everything is good now, guys. All right, so once you're done, you wanna head all the way back out, and you wanna go back into the folder, right? So go back to downloads, and there, here again and then this is the actual widget right here we got to install the MSI X so you want to press on this then you want to press install and it's going to open up like this but I'm not sure why it does that but it's just giving you I guess a preview of what's going on and then that's basically it so now I'm gonna restart my my device and then once it comes back up, I'll show you what's going on, guys. All right, so there's a few things I want to show you before we get into the widget. Let me show you how to set up these hotkeys, just in case you guys don't know how to do it. So if you press this button right here, brings up the game bar like this. And if you press this button, brings it to the multitasking screen, right? So let's bring up Legion Space real quick. And I'll show you guys how to do that just in case whoever don't know how to do it. Because this makes it a lot easier to navigate the system using these buttons. Alright, so once you open Legion Space, you want to go to controllers. And you want to go to button mapping. And here, you want to go view edit layout. Alright, so once you're here, it says these two buttons right here. It says WG, I mean WinG and WinTab. So you want to press in this. And you want to come all the way over to... to key combinations once you come here you press w you press win g and you just press y and save and that's give you the game bar and then if once you come back down to this button right here you do the same thing you do win tab and you hit save and then now you got it so now if you press this button right here oh it doesn't yeah sometimes it doesn't work when you're inside legion space so let me just exit legion space real quick get out here and there you go that's how you get it up and running. And then if you click this, you get a game bar. So now once you're here, you want to come over to the last section. And then you now you'll see gaming. Once you click on gaming, this is where you will see the widgets. So come over again. And now we have it its own section right here, guys. So now you got performance. You got profiles, graphics, and scaling, right? So in quick settings right here, you got your regular quick settings, guys, where you can mess with the TDP. For some reason, I've been using this on my Legion Go 2. Sometimes it doesn't correspond with the TDP on the system itself, but sometimes it does. I think it probably had a, uh, have a few bugs, but it do work though. With the overlay, you have to install RiverTuner to actually use this overlay because it opens up RiverTuner and then that's how you can track your FPS and stuff like that. So now you also got auto TDP, which is good. And that's great. And you also got loss of scaling built into it as well. So you could turn your loss of scaling on and off from right here. But you have to purchase loss of scaling for it to actually work. And then if you want the Legion Go 2, you also got HDR as well, right here. And if you come down and you got AMD full motion frames 2, anti-lag, chill, and then you can also control your CPU boost from here as well and RS, RS, 
And if you come down, you can pull up your keyboard and you can also mess with your lights. See, it's also changing my lights right here while I'm doing that. Yeah, so everything, most everything actually do work in performance. This way you can control most of the quick setting stuff manually. So you can control your TDP up and down, auto TDP, OS mode. So it's a full on quick setting just like your fly up menu on Legion Space guys. Then you also got profile. So you can set profile for whatever game you're playing. And then if you go to graphics, same thing here as well. Most of the thing that you've seen in quick settings is right here. And if you go to scaling, this is with lots of scaling. So click on the dots here. Control your Legion controllers. Mess with your brightness and the modes and stuff like that. And then this way you got some other stuff in here, guys. So this is kind of a cool widget. I'm not going to lie. It's very useful if you're not trying to use Legion Space. So you could do everything from right here, guys. My only issue with this is when you press on here, you got to go all the way over here to get to it. That's my only issue. I wish I could move it actually to the front. Like right here or even the second slide right here so that when I open it I'm automatically where I'm where I want to be and I could change my TDP turn something off turn something on and stuff like that but you got to come and go all the way over here guys that's my only issue with it but other than that it's been working fine TDP does work sometimes it doesn't correspond with what's going on with the Legion space but it does work all right so there's one more thing I want to show you guys to um spice the device up so you guys can see the artwork from the steam wars games they look kind of dull and they're not like taking up the full space of the icon that they're that they have on each game so we could spice it up a little bit guys so so you can customize the artwork on your device to make it look how you want it to look right so now first you want to open up your game bar then want to scroll all the way over here then you want to go to widget store and you're looking for this right here steam grid db for xbox this is actually a port over from steam guys so i use this on my steam os devices to customize my artwork so you can just hit install right here all right so once that's done you want to head back over all the way over to settings you want to go down to more settings then you open up windows settings right here you want to go to privacy and security and now when you scroll down you're looking for file system right here guys so you want to open this up and in here the apps access your file system so you want to make sure this is on guys so that I could let's go back in here now if you open up my game bar again and you want to come all the way over to you get here and it should be down here somewhere right here steam grid db and i think once you open it up it will start coming up up here guys let me exit real quick and see let's go over here yeah. so there you go so once you open it for the first time from this menu right here it will start popping up right here so now you have all your games in here if you click on let's say i click on assassin's creed it's going to show you all the artwork that you have that they have for assassin's creed so let's say i wanted this one right here and for borderlands just click on this let's use this cyberpunk um let's do this one right here all right so now if we exit come back there you go see guys so it looks a lot more appealing to the eye compared to this right here so l divers man kind of blurred out and stuff like that you can make it look a little bit better than how it is actually and let's go in and change it from now let's come down let's go to hell divers real quick and let's use this one right here All right so let's exit let's go right here and come back and there you go so it looks way more appealing to the eye and it fills out the whole space. You don't see like a gap between the artwork and like the frame that they have for it, right? So it looks a lot better, guys. So that's basically what I want to show you just to customize the device and make it a little bit more appealing to the eye and give you a little bit more customization with 
all the stuff you're using on your device. So yeah, so that's basically it, guys. If you got any questions, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button if you like what I'm posting, guys. Sub channel for my awesome content, guys. And remember what I always say, health is wealth, peace and love. I'm out, guys. Thanks for tuning in.